Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So, excuse me for my gross nails. They're not gross, they're just multicolored and they're not done because I am in show week, so I'm painting a whole set. So, uh, just bear with them. So, we're going to continue with our mermaid theme tutorials. And last week I said let's do a really funny mermaid we probably have never tried to draw before. Let us draw Mermando <laughs> from Gravity Falls. Mermando is with Mabel and they're my ultimate OTP. Oh, one of my ultimate OTPs. I love Mermando. So what I want to do first is go ahead and draw a circle. After the circle, I want to go ahead and bring back this part just a little bit. And of course, we're going to bring out this part just a little bit. So we're just laying out. This is the typical Gravity Falls structure <laughs> for the face is this part right here. After that, it's always best when you're drawing Gravity Falls, it's always best to start with the shape of the face and then the eyes. So we're going to do one big circle here, one round circle. And then we're going to build off of that circle and round it down. And it's going to go off the side of the face. And then I'm going to go ahead and jump in the middle, bring out his nose. It's, I'm going to bring this out, round it out, bring it in to here. Then you're going to jump down below and we're going to make his adorable smile with the gap tooth. So you're going to round off this part underneath his nose, round it off, connect, and then you're going to jump right here and make that little gap tooth and you can go ahead and color this in. And there's that adorable gap tooth smile. Alright, let's go ahead and shape up his nose just to give it more of a fine line go underneath his nose and give a little whisker here, a little whisker here, and a little whisker here. Make sure his eye is nice and round. And you're just going to jump over here, make a little pupil, and the same over here, just make a little pupil. Go ahead and clear up some guidelines. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring up his forehead just a little bit. And then I'm going to jump over here from this side of the eye, make one little eyebrow, and then make an eyebrow over here. And then I'm going to jump to the side from his eyebrow, bring up this part, bring it backwards to where we kind of round it off back here. You're going to start, stop from over here, and then bring this down. And you're going to jump right here, curl this inward from right almost in the middle of his eyebrows. Curl this inward, curl it out this way, make a little bit of a fish hook, bring it back up, curl, curl, and then bring this down. And then bring this in. We're gonna give him a little bit of his sideburn. So curl this part. And then curl this part. And then I can go ahead and jump back here and give him his ear. No detail, that's about it. You can go ahead and just make this nice and smooth and there's the whole top of his head. You're just going to go underneath right here. And you're going to make another part of his neck right here and right here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start making his shoulders. I'm just going to round it out right here. I don't want to make them too big because that's the way their bodies are. I'm going to bring out this one shoulder here. Bring this out and not too thick of arms. Bring it out, bring it down. 
jump over here and make this arm go outwards just a little bit. Not too thick of arms. And then bring down this side of his chest. Come over here as well. Bring down this side of his chest. Curve this upward just a little bit. We're going to close off this part. Actually, going to shorten it to right there. Their fingers and their hands are pretty easy, so we're just making a thumb. And we're going to round this, or round this down. And give them one finger here, one finger here, and one finger here. Gravity Falls is my favorite simple cartoon. Jump over here. And you're gonna curve this upwards. Start from the wrist, make a thumb. And I'm gonna start with the pinky first, the middle finger. back to his neck and give him one important thing and that's a seashell necklace and it has a picture of his family in it you're just gonna walk just loop a little loop a loop around so we still have his neck and then a loop for his necklace and then we're just going to pretend to we're gonna make the bulk of the seashell round down so we just make the tail of it Break it into three parts. It's not that detailed. So we have a seashell necklace and a little, the little top for where the loop goes through. There and there. Because he's a merman. <laughs> he doesn't wear a seashell bra. No. <laughs> Jump back behind here. Round this down. So we start in the middle of his, like at the bottom of his chest, you're gonna go through his chest, bring this part down, go back up. Not too defined, he's not that defined, but he's a little bit. Go back down. Go ahead. Line up with the rest of his body. Bring it out just a little bit. Line it up with his body. Bring down his tail, not too long. You're gonna come to a point and then go right back up. And then he doesn't have that big of a fin, so we're just gonna jump to the bottom. Make our little flower petal, go right back. And then make our little flower petal. And go right back. Round and give a couple of scales. Divide up his tail. And you want to divide up the top of his fin. He is underwater. This is how I'm drawing him. So I'm going to bring out his hair just a little bit. Bring it out this way. He has nice, gorgeous, flowing brown hair. And we're going to go out this way. here and attach it back to here. So here's the best part. We're going to make a message in a bottle for Mabel because that's how he sends her messages in the show. Draw the top, bring down this part. We're not going to get too detailed. Bring down this part. You're going to jump off to the side, jump off to the side, bring this down 
and then round it upwards. Jump back up to the top of our bottle. You're gonna round off this part. And go ahead and fill that in with a little itty bitty hole. So that's the top, that's the cork. Here's the top of our bottle. For the inside, what you're going to do is you're gonna round off in the middle, go around, make a little, it looks like a little spiral. Bring it down and go right back in. Bring this down. So it looks like we made the middle of a cinnabon, a cinnabon and write Mabel on it. Ta-da! Mermando! And there you guys go! There is Mermando from Gravity Falls. If you want to, you can add a little bit of bubbles here and there just to show he's underwater. But yes, I wish there was more Mermando in um, Gravity Falls. I wish there was like more talk about him or Mabel and him would have ended up together or Mabel there was like a, I hope there was a special episode that they could have made that Mabel turned into a mermaid to try and save him from um there was a tr catastrophe and an arranged marriage and I was hoping that Mabel would have turned into a mermaid to try to go and save him but <laughs> but yes guys I really hope you enjoyed this I really hope you enjoyed drawing mermando I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all later